Your freedoms are being stolen by the central banks and digital currency. What's up, everybody? Welcome aboard to Bubba's Bottom Line for Sunday, <clears throat> Super Bowl Sunday, the 12th of February, and uh, got a big day. We've had props for you at the end, and uh, uh, got uh, some uh, good information. And of course, as I opened up with, we have seen our freedom being more and more taken away from us. Uh, and when they finally get to full-on digital currencies, and there's a lot around the globe right now, and of course they're experimenting here with the digital currency, that means that your freedom will be gone. Okay, that is the bottom line. They will know what you do from the, the, the time you're born to the time you die. And of course the central bank has already destroyed this country's currency along with the other world currencies and the other central banks. And of course, it's uh, it's the next step, or, or the step right before full-on socialism or communism or uh, Marxism. Pick your ism you want. It ain't capitalism. That's that's for sure. Okay, and that goes into the the fiscal budget. Okay, that is the the, the deficits are double in 2023 than they were in 2022. Now, why is it that the government doesn't have to live on a budget like everybody else in the world, okay? You tell me that that we're going to continue to have to pay more taxes because, remember, government and central banks do nothing but create issues, debt, and problems versus letting a free market decide what should be. And, of course, when you allow the government to have so much power with the Federal Reserve, even though the Federal Reserve is supposed to be private, wink, wink, nod, nod, um, it's a bunch of bullshit, okay? They are stealing our money. They are stealing our freedom. And after that, what's left, okay? Now, there's a big debate on whether or not the sanctions on Russia and China are working. And again, I go, what sanctions? I mean, you know, are we really, have we sanctioned China, okay? As, as, as our president and his son have stolen so much money from China, okay? And, and had so much dramatic benefit, including our politicians, our athletes, and our actors and actresses. Why do you think that nobody talks about China being the worst in the world with human rights? Why do you think nobody talks about China sending over the COVID, the COVID disease, okay, with, without any problem, okay? Where is the, 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 the stuff on China? You know, if you remember when President Trump was in control, China was under under reins, and they were not as aggressive. And of course, the spy balloon uh, was nothing more than I think rhetoric and bullshit. You, what do you think? Every country that can spies in every other country. Do you think they're going to come out openly and send that balloon was sent as a message? Okay, that maybe they're, they're trying to make sure that everybody realizes that President Biden's in control. Of course, he's not in control of himself. How can he be in control? Of, of China. So, you know, we, we, we see these continuing. And of course, China just infused another trillion dollars, okay, into their money of new money. Okay, which really, what does what it really mean? It means they're devaluing their own currency. Okay, it's not buying you more. The money that is put into the system does not buy you more goods. It just makes you pay more. Okay, so the relationship is all bull. It's garbage. All right, that's that's why we pay so much for everything now. And even though you think you're making more money, okay, if you go back to when gas was was fifty cents a gallon and you were making, uh, you know, seventy five thousand dollars a year, and now gas is five dollars a gallon. Okay, that's ten times, and you're making five hundred thousand, so you're only making fifty percent less. Okay. So it's again, it, it's a numbers game, which is all full of garbage and crap. Okay, um, you know you've got, you know the IRS telling uh, millions of taxpayers in 22 states not to file their returns, not to pay so fast. And of course, I say, do it quickly while they're in disarray. Of course, they're always in disarray. 
That's why they just that's why they're blowing billions of dollars on hiring another 87,000 IRS agents. Instead of fixing the tax code, let's let, let's make sure that the American taxpayer can pay more money for less for less efficiency. That's that's the new American way based on this moronic administration that's in power right now. And of course, the, 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 the haters of America that are continuing to seek and destroy uh, as they now fight over the $27, $27 billion uh, eco-friendly slush fund. Okay, That's all. Remember, all that money that they're spending is your money. It's my money. We are the taxpayers that fund all these moronic programs that they're putting together. Okay, I don't know about you, but I'm sick and tired of it. Okay, I work too hard to give my money away for garbage and for nonsense. Okay, so that the for, so that the lobbyists and the politicians can steal it. Okay, I, I mean you know you you gotta you gotta figure out what the real big picture is. Okay, and that is is that is the bigger picture. Okay, now you know we're we're on this electric car deal, right? And you've got states already saying mandates. Where is the plan? Can you tell me what is it going to cost us to get there? We already know that the power would cannot support it. Okay. We're burning even here. We're burning so much coal so that we can make electricity. We are not equipped. We are not prepared for what they're saying, but they have no plan anyways. Really the plan is, is how much can they they tax you, how much can they change things, and of course, how much money can they glom from it? Because at the end of the day, okay, the, the, the carbon footprint will not change, okay? The amount of power and, and, and burning that they're going to have to go of, of coal and things like that are going to make the carbon footprint worse by what they're going to do. But they've convinced you all that that's not correct, Okay. Now again, unless we are putting a dome over the United States of America, okay, the rest of the world is going to continue to burn coal because it's cheap. Okay. You know, life comes down to two things. One is always money. Okay. And in this case, it's cheap to burn. It's coal is a cheap source of source of energy. Okay. So again, we've got all of these problems, and of course, the subsidies for the EVs, which is one of the things that fueled pardon the pun, the market, okay, is garbage, okay? Again, nobody wants to buy, nobody's going to go out and spend for an EV. And especially when you look at the EV market, you know, there's very few really good electronic vehicles or electric vehicles, okay? Because again, most of them have been trying to be retrofit a current model already versus Tesla, which was built from the ground up to be an electric vehicle, Okay. And again, why are we not using like hydrogen and why are we not using nuclear power? Okay. Are we, are we still thinking of Chernobyl? Okay. The, 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 the one in a billion accident that happened. Okay. Again, I, th I think that we, we go about things backwards and, and people buy into it like it's crazy. Okay. And, and I don't really understand it. And of course, you've got the SEC now warning that maybe that crypto asset should not be allowed in an IRA, in a retirement account. Now, you know, I'm a supporter of the crypto world. I believe in it. Okay. I don't have a lot of it because again, I'm, well, I'm, I'm not sure that it's going to survive, but I, I do own some. And, you know, I, I do believe that it's a, a good class. And I think that if you have enough capital that you can afford to have five or 10% of your retirement account, why shouldn't you? But then of course you have to understand what the the goals of the SEC is, and of course, FINRA, we know that the SEC and FINRA are not on the side of the investor. They are on the side of the broker. They are on the side of the big money. Okay. You know, remember, brokers make their money on what is known as the overnight rate. They do not make their money on what fees you pay them. I mean, that's part of it. But their bigger dollars, and especially now with interest rates rising, they are making more money. Profits are growing. Okay, the SEC and Finra are not on the investor side; they are on the side of big money. Okay, so as we hear the 
party in power now complaining about there should be billionaire taxes and all these other things, they are the ones fueling the benefits for big business. They are the ones that are destroying the small business. So you can continue to believe and buy into that bullshit, okay? Or you can wake up and smell the coffee and realize you're getting screwed, okay? And of course, the big news here in Las Vegas or on the West Coast is suddenly, out of nowhere, they shut down a, an oil pipeline. They said they found a leak. Now, God knows that they found a leak, but this, to me, is just another way to, to screw the middle, the middle class Americans. And as I had to go up and fill out for gas, because there's, there's a talk that there's going to be a gas shortage here on the West Coast, okay? Not only was there was a line at Casco that was probably two miles deep on each side of the street, okay? Uh, and of course, even the high expense of retail where I ended up going because I wasn't, I couldn't wait any longer. Okay. were packed. You couldn't get in. It, it took me an hour to get gas yesterday. Okay. And, and I, I think that, you know, when you, when you look at the picture and you look at what's going on, you have to understand that out of nowhere, suddenly there's a shutdown and especially where it came from. You know, if you told me there was a problem in Montana, Wyoming, I, I, I believe that. When you tell me it's coming from out of California, uh, not not so much. And this is these are the problems, and these are all things that are affecting you as an American, your freedom, your ability to earn, your ability to get 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 to the next level of power, and and of course, right now, what we're seeing is an administration trying to shut that down and put you in your place and make you a commoner, okay? Without any hope or opportunity to get to the next level in your life. I don't know about you, but it's mighty scary to me. This is Bubba's Bottom Line. It is Sunday, February the 12th, Super Bowl Sunday. We'll be right back after the break with, of course, our market update. Well, kids, what's up, everybody? I hope you're having a great week and a great weekend. And of course, we got Super Bowl today and it's, that's exciting. Uh, always a lot to do and lots of good commercials and lots of good prop bets, which we'll get to those later. But in the meantime, of course, don't forget about our sponsors. And they're scrolling on the side. Uh, trade your brokerage. Look, again, first of all, $10 a month flat. That, that should all I should have to say. But you have the ability to auto trade if you choose. Okay, at no charge. Our, our equity members get it for free. Our hedging members get it, pay a licensing fee for the hedging software. But trade your charge is nothing. It's still $10 a month. Okay, it saves me a hundred grand a year, uh, and of course they're going to have cryptos there soon as well. Uh, and of course, uh, uh, you know, tr just go to try.trader.com forward slash bubba. That's try.trader.com forward slash bubba. And of course, our other partner in the brokerage industry, and I have many brokers, but my other partner that I prefer is Capital Trading Group for futures and equities, and I mean futures and and, and commodities. And remember, equity brokers are good for equities. And futures brokers are good for futures. I've yet to find one that can do them both and do them both well. Okay. But Capital Trading Group is our partner in Day Traders Dream. They, are, they do all of our letter of direction trade. Why? Because they have the best customer service in the industry. Okay. So check them both out. That is uh, info.capitaltradinggroup.com forward slash Bubba. Info.capitaltradinggroup.com forward slash Bubba. And of course, don't forget about our high school program. Scrolling along the bottom. We're giving our last shot. Okay. I've spent almost a million dollars on the, on the program. And after COVID, it's hard to get the teachers to teach it. So we're going to give our last shot to try to do it because I financed it all with some help from you on Patreon. But in the meantime, I'm, I'm about, I'm about had it because again, it falls back into what's going on in the country in general. In the meantime, this is Bubba's Bottom Line. Let's get back to the show and our market update on here on Super Bowl Sunday. Welcome back. It is Bubba's Bottom Line. It is Sunday, the 12th of February, and of course, Super Bowl tonight. Uh, and markets, well, they had a little bit of a rough week. It looks like they're potentially making some, some adjustments. Uh, I think, as I've said to you in the past, uh, I do believe that we are going to have a major haircut, and I'm still looking for that 50 to 70%. And I think that the, the rally that we saw earlier in the year is all bullshit. Uh, I think it's it's been done on very thin volume and 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 very light. And we'll see. I guess I could be wrong. Look, the bottom line is, you know, our positions, I give them to you every day. 
All right. Right now we're we're, we're half long, half short. Okay. But as we take it from the top, uh, the do dollar index, which we no longer trade, but we would be long now versus short. We were short for quite a while, but we would be long. But we're not in. We don't trade anymore. But the euro currency, which you do trade, we are short. Okay. And typically, uh, except for maybe the first day. The dollar will be always opposite because it is 55%. The, the euro currency is 56% of the dollar index. In the meantime, we're short euro currency. And here we're long, had rode it all the way up. It was a beautiful trade. Uh, and now coming back a little bit. Bitcoin, uh, we're going to reverse that either tonight or tomorrow. Okay. And I'll be reversing tomorrow because I'll have mine done through Capital Trading Group. But uh, Bitcoin is going to reverse again, but it has had a very nice move up. And I think that, again, this is a temporary pullback. And I would look, I think Bitcoin is going and the cryptos are going much higher. Uh, but in the meantime, we will be short, uh, you know, starting with tomorrow. Uh, the bonds and the notes, we are, are short, which is my preferred side of those. And they're getting clocked, which is also a good thing. And, but what that's really telling you is what I've said all along, is that interest rates are going higher. And Chair Powell, with his two-faced talk, isn't doing anything, okay? But really, again, pricing us out of markets, which is going to cause the housing crisis, another housing crisis, all kinds of issues that are done. And I expect bonds and notes to go much lower because I think interest rates are going much higher. Okay. Uh, in the precious metal markets, gold, silver, and platinum, uh, we are short gold, we are short silver, and we would be short platinum if we trade it, but we no longer trade it, not liquid enough. But again, I'm a big believer in gold and silver, and I think we're going higher Okay, but I don't, I'm not surprised. I think the big spike we saw a couple of weeks ago, followed by the huge crap out a week ago on Friday, okay, is it just set the stage for this to be a little bit of panic selling. Okay, I think you ought to look, to, if you're, again, physical buyers should be buying at any time, little bits and pieces and storing it. And, you know, traders, you look for the right spot. Okay. Uh, copper, which we're now short, and it, that has gone down again. Almost everything had a down week last week, interesting enough, except for some of the commodities. Uh, and and uh, speaking of uh, the grain markets, okay, I had an up week. Uh, we're still short wheat. I thought we would change that, but we're still short wheat. Uh, long corn, long beans, but all three were up across the board. And of course, on Friday, wheat was up 28 cents, uh, but they look really good. And I think they're going to explode to the upside. Remember, there's a lot of that goes into producing those, and one of the big things is money. Okay, borrowing money, and they and farmers pay a big a big premium to, to interest rates versus you and me. So uh, I think they're going higher, and they're going, we're we're long corn, long beans, short wheat, uh, in the cattle market, which we no longer trade cattle and hogs, but uh, cattle looks great, and hogs look awful, and we would be long cattle and short hogs. Uh, I do think that the hogs are probably somewhere near a bottom. In fact, on my Monday night call, I did say that I was going to buy hogs, okay, uh, even though we should be shorter, but we don't trade them. So I said, you know, to me, it's a, a reasonable shot. And so we did get a little bit of an up move <clears throat> off of that. And I think that you'll see that they'll turn around. We're coming into grilling season, the, the whole deal, okay. Uh, in the, uh, in the uh, natural gas market, okay, we're still short. And listen, it's down at 240, okay. Now, again, we could see a pop at some point here. I don't think it's time to start buying yet. Um, you know, I don't think it's even worth taking a shot yet. But, if, if you know, if we're still 240 towards the end of summer, I'll be, I'll be buying some then. But right now, again, the trend is down. We're staying with it. And crude oil, uh, is, is, as, although we're short, has is, is, is popped. Okay. And, and I think that, uh, uh, you know, we, we, we look at the markets. And, in fact, I'm sorry, I'm, I, we are long crude. A, mis, a misstatement by me. Uh, I think that crude, you know, again, uh, will we'll churn. I think you're suddenly starting to see some issues and some, some things going on in crude. And you can bet on this, that come towards April, May, when we get into the driving season, suddenly there'll be a shortage. And you're gonna, we're going to be paying 5 and $6 a gallon of gas for again when we get back to that point. Uh, and, you know, again, we'll see what happens. In the meantime, in the softs, uh, cocoa, which were long, had a slightly up week. Sugar, which were long, had an up week. OJ exploded, although it was down limit on Friday. Uh, coffee were long was and is higher. Okay, so again, as I suspected, okay, 
the the markets, the commodity markets, I think are going to have big markets this year. And big markets mean big price movement. And I think that's going to be part of it. Uh, and of course, in the equities, uh, all four were down this week. Uh, we are long the NASDAQ and we are long the S&P and we are short the Dow and we are short the Russell. Uh, it wouldn't surprise me by Tuesday or Wednesday, we'd be short them all. Okay. I do think we're seeing that, that turnover, that change. And I think we start to get really ugly as the volatility index is hovering lower. And I think that that's going to pop. And I think we're going to see markets get hammered. So we'll see how it plays out. Again, you know my positions. We're going to stop out here for our final break. Come back with, of course, my commentary and, of course, some prop bets for today's game. This is Papa's Bottom Line Sunday, Super Bowl Sunday, the 12th of February. Well, kids, again, I'm not going to go through the spiel with the sponsors, but they are scrolling on the side, Trade Your Brokerage, Capital Trading, and of course, on the bottom, our high school program. Check them out. Again, I vetted them for you. That's why I recommend them. I only recommend things that I use myself. So certainly check them out. And now let's get back to Bubba's bottom line and of course, my commentary and of course, some football. Welcome back. It is Bubba's bottom line. It is Sunday, the 12th of February. It is a Super Bowl Sunday. Uh, and of course, you know, I tell you, I'm, I'm so sick and tired of the attack and the tax on President Trump. I, I think, you know, again, what are they afraid of? What, is, what, are, what are the politicians on both sides of the aisle afraid of? They're so much trying to keep mountain. I, I personally would only want to see him run this particular election cycle. If he was going to run, if DeSantis would be his VP, so then DeSantis could be, could take over afterwards. Okay. But we never ran smoother. Prices were never more in line. People weren't, were ever working as much as they were as we continue to have no jobs. Okay. And we have a lousy jobs data, even though Biden tries to make it look good. Okay, the 517,000 jobs of two weeks ago was all garbage. Okay, it's all part-time jobs. Look at the U6. Okay, go to the BLS, the Bureau of Labor Statistics. Look at the U6, which is not what they use. They use the U3, and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. But why are they still on the attack for Trump? They tried to impeach him twice. They're not trying to go after him again. What are they afraid of? What, so that it, whether you like Trump or not, you have to ask yourself, what is the government hiding Okay, why are they so dead set about getting him not to be in office? Both parties. Okay, so something to think about, right? I mean, look, if, if you're happy with the way things are running, hey, God bless. Me, I'm not. I think that things suck. I think that this this administration has destroyed free markets, small business, and everything you can everything they touch. They have the opposite of the mightiest touch. They have the shit touch. In the meantime, it is Super Bowl Sunday, and of course, we do like Kansas City in the game, but. It's a really tough game, and I think it's two really good teams. I think it can go either way. I wouldn't be surprised. I'm not really hepped up. But some of the props I do like, and I'll give them to you real quick. I gave you some during the week, but we like uh, sacks under five and a half, okay? And make sure you can't lay more than 120, minus a so minus a 120. Uh, we like Kadarius Tony over two and a half receptions, okay? We like... Opening kickoff, not to be a touchback, plus 160, plus money, plus 160, okay? And Travis Kels, over six and a half receptions, minus 130, okay? Those are the props that we like. I mean, we like a lot. I mean, I've got about 60 or 70, okay? Uh, but those are the, the ones, that, and I think uh, Patrick McCombs, over 290 passing yards would be good. Uh, and, and that would be my pick shoot today. In the meantime, have a great time. Enjoy the Super Bowl. Enjoy the commercials. And we'll see you back here tomorrow with Bubba's Daily Update. Have a great weekend, everybody. Enjoy the Super Bowl. We'll see you tomorrow.